Hi. It is I, Mr. Rowdy McDowdy, aka fuck up literally everything that I attempt to do in regards to streaming. Uh, sorry to keep you waiting. Because I forgot that YouTube has a separate go live button that I must click for the stream to actually go live. And uh, I completely forgot about it. And <laughs> I was already like 10 minutes into this thing before I realized. So, bam. Bam. Hi. Yes, it is my dumbass here. Uh, it's been a little over a month since my last stream, probably about two months. Been busy living a normal life. But now, I'm back. With probably the stupidest thing I will probably ever do on this channel, and that is the Gran Turismo 4 randomizer mod. I have a little bit of a description in... Or I have a little bit of a description in the description, herp derp, that goes over the series. But essentially, with this mod, every single prize card that you get is going to be random. So you can't predict, like, you can't predict what you're going to get at all. You can't go to IGN or whatever other website that has all the prize cards listed. You can't go off that anymore. You can get anything from a Formula GT for the Sunday Cup to a Citroen 12CV for the Super License Gold. And the twist that I'm putting on this is that I can only buy tires. I can't buy cars. I can't buy tuning parts. Just tires. And for every race that I do, I must get over 100 A-spec points. That way I don't cheese everything. So, with that being said... This is probably going to be the most painful thing I ever do. Because it can either go really smooth and I get the exact cars that I need right whenever I need them. Or I can be hunting for uh, a supercar for the supercar festival. I could be hunting for a truck for the truck series. Or a boxer engine powered car that can actually beat the event. It's going to be bad. But... With that out of the way, let's get started. So, uh, the way this works is that you enter in a name, and that name is linked to a seed. And pretty much, if two people use the same name, then they're going to they're gonna get the same prize cards for the same events. And it is case sensitive, so if you want to try it again, then you can re-enter your name on a new save without caps or with caps or however you want to do it. So... Yes, my name is Rod. <laughs> Derp. I'm going with capital R, Audi. So, just my normal name. I don't know what these prize cars are. So, anything could happen. So, um, let's get right into it. Might be worth mentioning that the HD mod broke those non-English cars. Oh yeah, that might be a problem. I'm only using the uh, the HD UI. For those of you who are wondering, I'm not using the uh, the retexture mod. So there's that. Rowdy, Roddy, Rudy, as a uh, Fran would like to say. So before we get going, I have to set all my options again because my stupid ass. 16 by 9, progressive. Uh, I did not install the cheats, actually. Um, I don't think I actually need any, uh, because I don't really... Or at least I don't think I use any, but I'll take a look real quick. Uh, where is thy folder that I keep? GT3 Chase Cam, I don't use that. Trigger Sensity, don't need it. Force 480p, I can do that later. Yeah, I don't think I need any of those at this time, but I will get like the 
the automatic 480p by the time it, or by the next time I do this. So I don't need to change anything from there. Steering, and hopefully my force feedback works because PCSX2 has had a problem with that as well. I can't actually see what I'm scrolling on because my chat's on top of the screen right there. Oh, come on, move over. There we go. All right, and for my monitor settings, which you can automatically access with this mod, I'm going to set this to 240, aspect to 1, and overscan to 0.95. That's just the way I like running it. Might be different from uh, <coughs> from others, yes, for others. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, the, uh, the language... Uh, as Admeister said, it was re-added by him, so. All right. So, I'm pretty much forced to start off with the B license because I have no cars and I can't buy any cars. Uh, let me just double check my audio real quick. All right, that should be fine. So, um, we're just going to hop right into it because I don't have any cars, I can't buy any cars, and... I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and zip through this and get whatever trophies I get, see what prize car I end up with, and then if I need to, I'll go back and gold it so we can get the rest of them. Because I want to get things rolling. And I haven't actually done a full playthrough of all the licenses since the start of my Let's Play, so it's kind of fresh to me, at least. And I don't think I have force feedback yet either. Uh, yeah, I need to do that as well. The borders are going to get annoying. Overscan or crop. I forgot which one I actually used. Heck, get rid of it. Looks like it did. Alright. So, yeah, we gotta get through the boring part at the start of this. Oh, actually, that was quite a bit of wheel spin for a four-wheel drive car. I haven't done these tests in a thick minute. Bronze, I can actually... I'm gonna go for silver. I'll at least go for silver for the B license, just to... It's not gonna be that hard to do, so... Nice. Oh, I click retry again. Go away. Four license for stopping and starting. Basically every Gran Turismo. Uh, is Spec 2 out? No, but this is like... This build is like 50% of what's going to be in Spec 2, so... That one's still in the works. And I have yet to make a video going over that too, so I've just been super busy lately. That, and I've also been lazy. <laughs> Procrastination to the max. Oh, I still have no force feedback. Okay. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've driven stuff like this with assists on it. Hurry up. I'm 
Yeah, this time the ghosts are actually working, which is nice. Whenever I was doing the, the series, I didn't have any ghost cars go off. Hello, Rudy. Hello, AORG. Nice to see you here. If I actually get... Okay. Chat. If I were to get the Black Formula GT car, would that be considered winning it? Oh my god. I need to use that brake pedal a little bit more and that throttle a little bit less. Yeah, the uh, that's the one thing I really don't like about this game is that so many of the license tests have assists on. And yeah, I mean, like, that's an element to make them more challenging, but... Alright, there we go. Finally something semi-decent. So yeah, if I get the Black Formula GT car, do I win? I'd say I do, because technically you get the Formula GT for getting 100% in the normal game. And if I were to get it in this, I'd say that's fair. Pretty much like all these license tests are just going to be like a matter of learning the car within like one test so I can gold it in the next one. There's not going to be many first attempts on here, I can guarantee it. And yeah, that's the other thing, uh, like DDM said. I uh, I can't use any of the, the in-game cheats for this, because I'm probably not going to get past 365 days. At least not for a while. There's another gold. First try, so I actually did get a first try for once. BK4 is going to be jealous. First try. A legit first try. Oh boy. I forgot about these. The one lap guide runs. This is going to be fun. Yeah, I'm probably... I'm probably going to end up with, like, something useless, like the Jay Leno tank car, or maybe, like, some other concept car, like the Triathlon or Nike 2022 that I can't use in anything. There is a chance that I can, like, complete every single event in the game, but never get, like, a truck or something out of it. There is a possibility of that happening. I don't know how many events there are in the game or how many different prize cars you can get in total, but... That was a pretty, pretty, pretty easy gold. I remember a lot of the one lap guide runs were actually very easy the last time I did this. It was kind of surprising. But at the same time, I guess they made it that way to be very forgiving, considering you're doing an entire lap for one test. And it's not even super licensed either. Control my wheel spin. I don't remember if I started in second gear for the Viper or not. I'm gonna have to remember that. Too early.
Mm, yeah, I'll just go with it. We'll go back and get all the golds if I need to. Does playing with wheels make it easier? Um, I'd say it does. Oh, so here's one of the different sounds. So in this mod, the sound of the Viper is actually different. That is definitely not the gear I need to be starting in. No way. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. Probably shifted it a little too early there. I think it's just a little bit after the 800. Oh my god, I think I nailed it. Yeah! Second try, technically, but first completed. So yeah, quite a lot of these uh, cars have different sounds in this build, and there's going to be more in the final version. For those of you who don't know. I remember, wait, I think it was the next test after this that was hard. I don't remember exactly. I think it was in a BMW. One of them gave me quite a lot of trouble. Oh, that was actually kind of easy. Oh yeah, it is the, it's the E46. I knew it was a BMW of some sort. I just didn't remember which one. Oh, I guess that one's later, because it's coffee break time, all oh, memes. Let's see if I still remember the route. Oh, come on. Oh, no way. All right, I got to gold this. I can't live with myself doing that. Okay, that was much worse. All right, pro tip, don't redline it. Okay, this time I have wheel spin. Oh my... Okay, yeah, that definitely did slow me down a lot more, downshifting right as I stopped. All right, I think I got it this time, though. I got this. Good launch. Nailed it. All right, that was totally unnecessary, but I had to do it. Apparently, a lot of people say that's the hardest coffee break, which they're just wrong. Here's that one test I was thinking of. This one gave me a lot of trouble back in my day. And it'll be even more now that I don't know how to drive this thing yet. Also, here's another new sound. For the M3. Uh, I think this is a CSL. Yep, the M3 CSL. We'll go back and gold that one later. And hopefully I can get this one first try. I just gotta remember that this thing drives like an absolute pile. Okay, I thought this one was converted to automatic, but I guess it wasn't. Yep, 
In my opinion, the hardest coffee break is definitely International A, the Gymkhana. Especially after the fact that it starts off with the slalom, just after... Actually, no. That was a, the... The slaloms were an International B. So, after you struggle through the International B slaloms, then you gotta do another one at the Gymkhana test. Yeah, like, somebody at Polyphony thought, hmm, we need a license test at Sakuba. Or, this is Laguna, not Sakuba. Jesus Christ. I think my brain needs a reboot. But, um, somebody thought, yes, let's put a Citroen, of all things, at Laguna Seca. Instead of, like, a Ford Focus, or, like, a Taurus. Sakuba Seca. What is your best time at Tsukuba Circuit? What is your best time at Tsukuba Seika? Okay, that was... That was the corkscrew of all time. No! Ah, fuck. Oops. See, that's the one quarter on this track that I always go off. Because major skill issue. Oh yeah, the Ford Ka would have been a, a good car for this. I don't think I've ever actually driven the Ka in any Gran Turismo game, now that I think about it. Local streamer tries to oversteer a C3. Okay, I had to lead Apex that, but I did it completely ass backwards. Ka is the world. Ka is love. Ka is life. I'm not actually I'm not actually sure how fast the car is. Now I'm actually tempted to try it out, but wrong series for that. Uh, this is definitely only going to the GT World Championship. This is not going to be a hundred percent run because that's probably going to be impossible, anyways. Yeah, night drives cause really fast. Stay on the road this time, you freaking heck. Oh, that was way too slow. I think I just killed it with that downshift. Oh, am I gonna get it? Oh, yeah. Easy. Dodge Neon RT. Alright, this one is at the NURB. Oh, wait. Pfft. The American Nurburgring. Yeah, that, that's right. That looked like a corkscrew to me, I'm not gonna lie. It's probably not going to be too hard to gold. Yeah, it's been that long since I've done these. I didn't even remember there being a Grand Canyon test on B license. Oh, 
I, I kind of remember this one. You just have to completely send it. Go as wide as possible and then turn it at the right point. Don't even lift. And try to keep more momentum than that. I don't think that was enough. Oh, it was, just barely. Why no GT3 cam? Because I'm playing with the wheel and with the wheel it actually makes it harder for me. So the stiffer chase cam, whenever, whenever I'm playing with the wheel, is actually better. I used to hate it, but I've grown used to it and now I kind of like it that way. But if I was playing with a controller, I probably would be using the GT3 uh, chase cam. Oh, that was almost there. But no bronzes so far, so just two more to go. One of them being, or wait, was it actually three more? Three more to go. One of them being a one-lap guide run. Oh, God. Ugh. I hate these things. I am, like, definitely not an Infinity fan or a G35 fan at all. But this one does sound different, too, so. There's another modded sound for you. And an easy gold as well. I didn't even think that attempt was that good. <laughs> the wall grains. I'm not freaking nine years old anymore. Oh, PT loser time. PT loser. Which mod am I using for the sounds? Well, this is all like combined into one. This is... The sounds are part of the Spec 2 mod that Admicer is making. And the Spec 2 mod is about 50% done and the elements from that are in this build. So the whole thing isn't done just yet. Oh my god. I forgot how tight that corner was. But you do get like a pretty good sneak peek of it. And I also have to downshift less often because I have a pretty bad habit of doing that. Much better that time. Stay on the road. Had to cut off a little bit of speed right there. Why does YouTube hide GT4 online? Do you mean like why doesn't it not or why does it not get a lot of attention on YouTube or something? Because I know my GT4 online videos don't really get any attention at all. Which it should have been like some big thing, like, holy shit, Grand Trisable 4 is online? I didn't know that. It should have enticed like a lot more clicks than it really did. But instead, a remaster mod gets 250k views. Shots fired. That was close. I 
I am doing quite well, Programmer227. How about you? Oh yeah, I smoked this one. Almost two whole seconds. At least I'm getting all these one lap guide runs golded the first time, so I don't have to go back and sit through that again. And now this one, I believe, is at Tsukuba. Yes, it is. In the 120D. This little thing. Oh, there's no assists on this. I can actually send it. Okay. Uh... The only new textures that I'm using here are for the HUD and UI. I'm not using the retexture mod, the original one at least. Alright, so B License Silver is done. A lot of those I got golded, so if I need to go back and gold them, I can do that real quick. But here we go with our first few prize cars of the series. Oh boy, fingers crossed. Oh my god, what's what's it gonna be? Am I gonna have to keep doing more licenses to get some compatible cars, or am I gonna be stuck in an endless loop? First one for all bronze. Oh. That's a cool prize. And I might be able to use it for something. Maybe. For all silver, I can use that in the Sunday Cup. Okay, I'm, I'm actually... I'm actually not that upset about those two. Because those two might actually be usable. So, let's go see what's up with them. 119 horsepower... I can buy tires for this, so maybe that can enter the Sunday Cup. The S800. I'm going to go ahead and get in this because I'm pretty sure I can do uh, the K series if I can enter that. It's probably going to be too fast for it. Uh, and I have to put those on as well. But I'm going to go ahead and get the standard road tires for this because they're free oh also here's another element of the mod the dealerships have a different layout so if you remember if you remember the images used to be like on the top portion of the screen only and then below it it'd be like this big empty area and everything would be shaped like this like a v but now it's nice and linear and we have some new images here so, nice little change. Makes good use of the menus. So, I'm going to go here by the standard road tires. Because that's all I'm pretty sure I'll need for this. And... It did say I can enter the lightweight K-Cup. I'm probably going to have to buy like economy tires to get the A-spec points low enough for this. So I'll just go ahead and enter this and see how many A-spec points it's going to be. And plus, like, if I want to buy tires for other cars, I have to do, like, normal events so I can get credits and afford the tires. And it still doesn't say what the A-spec points are until you actually join, and 8 is nowhere near enough. Go figure. Uh... All the cars in these are going to be 67 horsepower anyways, so I am already like 30 over, which is infinity for cars this size. So let's try the Sunday Cup instead. See how many A-spec points we get from this. I can also raise the ballast if I need to. Map 69, funny sex number, funny sex, but yeah, I'll give this some ballast, and we'll see what we can do. 
Now, there's no way to really, like, calculate how many A-spec points you're going to get exactly, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of guesswork. Uh, we have 660 kilograms right now. Uh, I can also drop the downforce, so that'll help. I'm not going to need that much downforce to begin with. Oh, we're back. I had a little issue. All right, should be fine now, I hope. OBS just suddenly disconnected and reconnected, so. Uh, we, we bumped it up to 795 kilograms. Hopefully that's not too much. Hopefully that's not too little. Oh, <laughs> I actually nailed it. 101 A-spec points. Nice. Yeah, the funny number killed it. I'm going to have to pay attention to that. All right, let's get the Sunday Cup done. I'll do as many of the free events as I can. Or, well, at this point, be licensed events now. But as soon as I need to get more prize cars, then I'll go back to the licenses. And I don't really care about bumping into cars or having strict tra track limits or whatever. I'm just going to go with it. I didn't make that a rule, so I'm not going to follow made-up rules. What the? Why is the music not up? Oh, I forgot to reset that. Ah. Uh, whenever I was... Whenever I set it up the first time when I wasn't actually live, I did turn the music off, but... I forgot this is a brand new save, so I don't have the same settings. Nice. Alright, now we're good. I don't think that was a copyrighted song anyways, so hopefully I'm fine. Yeah, I don't get how this car has downforce either. Or at least, like, adjustable. according to the game. All four wheels around the grass, so it's invalid. And I could play some music in the stream, but... Eh. I remember this thing's a little sloppy so and I don't think I have force feedback still so I still gotta sort that out uh, okay I kept my momentum nice uh, get out of my way thing oh my god I'm getting sabotaged Look at all that momentum I lost. Thank you, Lupo. And this thing has like zero power at the low end. Alright, as long as I get a clean pass on this. Oh my. Sabotaged again. Maniac. All right, momentum, momentum, momentum. Oh. No, he got in my way. Ah, oh, that didn't work. I tried to cheese shift it. All right, well, I'm just gonna have to avoid ramming the AI because that just completely kills your momentum. Kill him. Kill it. Kill it. It's definitely doable, though, so. PD inconsistent since when? <laughs> Wash Gamer loses the Sunday Cup. Imagine losing the Sunday Cup.
These curbs are wider than the car itself. Okay, didn't touch the Scion. I'm gonna go into the back of the Mazderp. Jimmy has copyright free music. Uh, I'm very picky about not only what I listen to, but also what I play on stream. So if it's like mediocre music, I'll just go ahead and go without music at all. I've never heard it before, though, so. I usually just play like Dai Hikasho and other game music in the background, if anything. Did I say feet? I probably did say feet with the way I speak. I'm like Ricky from Trailer Park Boys sometimes. My brain's short circulating. You love my goofy ass commentary? Well, at least somebody likes it. Oh my god, that's a corner cut. Rowdyisms. Oh my. All right, well, that one's doomed. Rowdyisms. Somebody should make a, comp a complication of rowdyisms from my Let's Play series. That'd be one hell of a task. I can beat this race. I'm just having a major skill issue right now. I need to set my stream deck up so I can just, like, play a major skill issue every time I lose. Every time I lose against GT4 AI, which is arguably the worst AI in the PS1, PS2 era. Squeeze around. I'm going to pass on the outside here. All right, I think I'm in a better spot than last attempt. Okay, get out of my way. Yeet. He almost shoved me off the track again. But I held it. I cheese shifted right there. It didn't really help. Or maybe it did. I don't know. Alright, there we go. Finally. It only took three tries. But we did it. Let's do it four more times for the rest of the series. I keep thinking I have a drink next to me, but I don't. All right, first race down, finally. Yeah, it was so tough, the Sunday Cup. The challenge of all time. I've gotten pretty good at the E shift, or E brake shift, or G shift if I if I love five. Yes. Imagine if I crashed into the pits. That would happen. All right, beginner course. This lineup looks doable. Is my A spec points going to be oh higher? Well, let's see what let's see what happens with this lineup on this track. I could easily just cut the chicane and we'll be good. Yeah, I think those MGs are going to destroy me, but we'll just see. I 
Won't know till you find out. Or, yeah. Won't know till you find out. Durr. I don't know why people watch me, to be honest. Alright, see you later, underground revamp. Uh... You need to move now. Alright, maybe with no traffic I can pass the other MG in the next two laps. The old switcheroo. Nope, I don't have the power for that. Mm, get out of my way. Alright, now without anybody blocking me, I might have enough momentum, but... Probably not, actually. Nope. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and get a different lineup, though. Just because I don't want to be your starting the same race over and over and over again. GF is up front, but I think I'll be fine. What about the other car I have? It's probably too heavy. I mean, well... I probably wouldn't have to put worse tires on it, but I could use the other car if I need, but this one's working just fine for now, so no point in changing. And I think I will, the Isuzu, I might have to upgrade it to do that one make. I don't remember. I don't remember exactly, so. And I can't purchase anything except for tires in this playthrough. <laughs> Rule, you can't change your car. That face when a nugget passes everyone in the first lap. Also, yeah, I am destroying the entire field this time. So yeah, it's just a matter of getting through the traffic, pretty much. But yeah, if if I can do the Isuzu event after this, I'm probably going to go ahead and do it. This thing is going to be too powerful for lightweight K Cup, I think. But I might as well go ahead and max out the ballast and put it on economy tires just to be sure. So that's race number two down. get our poverty credits 600 woo 
use this in classic car championship i could probably do that i don't remember what the competition is for it but oh wait a minute i don't think this thing is going to be fast enough for high speed ring this one might be a problem all these cars except the pojo i think are pretty slow low speed ring it's 116 a spec points but oh my god rev pojo pojo is it possible to make a mod where every race is a random track mm, probably could do something like that Oh, man. Oh, man. I might have to, like, drop my ballast even more just to get it to, like, 101 A spec points or 100 with this particular field. This is where I make up my ground. The final corner is where it's all going to go down, pretty much. That's too much momentum lost. Slipstreaming now, at least. I don't think I'm going to cheese shift that time. Alright, I should have this in the bag. Knock on wood. Stay out of my way. Alright, we got this. I thought this was going to be a lot harder, but... I have much, much... more... handling capabilities than they do. It's, like, impossible to drive in a straight line with this wheel, because it's it has zero dead zone in it. I just realized this thing has no mirrors. This is where I got my greatest win in GT4 Online, isn't it? Yeah, I think it was. Did I win that, uh... The Clio Cup race? I'm pretty sure I did. It was either me or Fran. How does a cheat shift work? So if you time it perfectly, you tap the e-brake first, and then immediately after you have to shift. So you pretty much have to go like that quick and the reason why i swipe my hand away is because it's actually easier to release uh the shift paddle so that's just the way i can time it just it looks goofy but it works but essentially in some cases it allows you to still accelerate while you're in between gears instead of the car just completely going off throttle between gears and then losing speed because of it so it only works in It'll only work in four-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive cars and uh, on some cars it'll benefit it a lot, others not really.
Can you make force feedback work that work with an emulator? It does work with an emulator, but it's been I've been having issues with it. Because there's been a new problem in PCSX2 where it hasn't been working for me. And apparently there's a fix for it for like either doing something in G-Hub, which I am trying to do, but it's not working for me. Or you can reboot the game over and over and over again until it eventually works, but I don't want to do that on stream, so I kind of just have to live with it. Okay, I had a lot more handling through there than I thought I would. Watching from Kenya? Nice. Welcome. Glad you're enjoying it. Oh, that was kind of awkward going through there. First place is pulling away. I think that's the 120D. Probably not going to catch it. Depends if I can take this flat out or not. Miata is getting in my way though, so I have to go on the outside. Round the outside. Round the outside. Round the outside. That was so... yeah. I don't know if I can say that on stream or not. So I'm not going to out of precautionary. <laughs> Fabian Portilla mode. This game has GT7 AI all of a sudden. Eminem copyright. I don't think I'm going to catch it. Rowdy outside. Rowdy outside. I am outside your home. Mm, yep, I think this attempt is doomed. I'm going to have to get a different grid. No MGs and no BMWs up front. I'm probably going to have to do a lot of restarts just by, like, how the grids are alone. Uh, the Poja wasn't that bad. I don't think, at least. So let's just go with it. No BMW. I don't think I'm going to need the Isuzu here. This car can do it, but only with the right opponents. It does not have the straight line speed, but it definitely has the handling. They're kind of splitting up in the same way as last attempt. But I'm a lot closer at, or closer to first place this time around. So I think I got this one. I have the momentum and now I have the slipstream as well, so...
Uh, can I squeeze through? Kept teasing me, so I just went with it. See, the problem is, if I get a really OP car like the Escudo or the Formula GT, I probably can't even use it in anything anyways, because it's going to be too powerful. And I have to get 100 A-spec points every race. Just going to go ahead and send it in here, if you don't mind. Easy peasy. Yeah, for every race that I do in this series, I have to get 100 A-spec points or more, just for the simple fact that I don't want to cheese any of the races. Because if I were to get like an R92 CP by bronzing all the B license tests, then I could just cheese several events with that, and I don't want to have the ability to do that, so that's kind of why I implemented that. You might be wondering, well, why didn't you go 150, or why didn't you go 200? Well, I can't buy any tuning parts, so that means no nitrous or no other parts that don't affect A-spec points to help me out. So it'd, it'd probably be impossible at 200 A-spec points. Unless you cut corners like crazy or just go ahead and ram every AI. Was that enough A-spec points? I wasn't even paying attention. I also didn't look at what first and second were. McGann, McGann, Citroen. All right, this is a good lineup. All right, 125, that'll work. Well, at least, like, on Hong Kong, the Escudo would be decent around, well, now that I think about it, the Escudo wouldn't be good anywhere because it has a ton of turbo lag. Yes, it is all-wheel drive, but that turbo lag is just going to give you a ton of wheel spin anyways. Okay, that was a lot of turn in. This one might be uh, a little bit challenging. Oh my god, nice lines there. Those are the driving lines of all time. This is a good lineup, they're pretty slow. So. Attempt number two, me aider. Had moment, more moment, mo, 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 momentum. Miat. The Fiat Miat. Oh. Cutting corners again. Oh, my brake check. I'm just going to go ahead and squeeze right by. Oh, it's that thing from Ligmasuka. I think first and second are pulling away. Five and a half seconds behind right now.
This might be one of the ones where I do have to reduce the ballast until I'm just over 100 ace points. I could probably lose like 30, 40 kilos. And gain some skill, maybe. I think I'm just going to go ahead and do that. This thing is kind of tough in certain corners. Uh, oh, that's not where it's at. So let's try 110. See how much a spec points we get. Oh, what's up, GT Rufus? Welcome. Is Nitro allowed? I cannot purchase anything except for tires, so... No nitrous, no tuning. Except for ballast, which you already get. I'd only lowered it by 5 A spec points. Wow. I can drop it a lot more than that. Yeah, hopefully not much bad luck. But we'll see. See you later, Admeister, and uh, for those of you who don't know, Admeister was the one who made the mod, so everybody thank him for this. Been doing a lot of good work on this game recently. 109. I'm just going to go with this, I guess. Just returned from a boring birthday party. I had a mandatory get together this morning, so I can relate to that a little bit. Oh, yeah, I have a lot more handling now. Oh, hey, I stayed on the road this time. Uh. Nice. I need to get a drink because I keep reaching down here trying to grab like a glass of water or something and there's nothing there. I keep forgetting. Also, yeah, the Sunday Cup is taking a lot longer than it should because I'm dumb enough to add a no, add a new element to this. Okay, too late. Drinking glass of A-spec points. I need to get that final corner with a lot of momentum, but it's just hard. It's kind of an awkward sequence of corners. Tastes like victory. Not yet. It definitely doesn't. I am way too far behind still, so... I just gotta master this track. I mean, it's definitely doable. It's just the car is too awkward for me right now. Even after all these races that I've done with it. <laughs> you predict I'll get a Ford Ram. Second gen 3000 GT. Yeah, put your... Uh, everybody put your guesses in the chat as to what prize car I'm going to get for this event. We have a Ford Ram. Yes. A second gen 3000 GT. An RX-7. Some JDM, I bet. That's too broad. It's got to be more specific. Oh. 787B. Another Dodge Ram. 
Honda Civic modal race car. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, if I actually get the Nike 2022, that'd be... Uh, it'd be useless, pretty much, so... Kind of hoping I don't get that one. This is Navi R34. Yeah, I'd like to get a... Like a FTO or... Uh, Integra or something like that to do the FF challenge and still get enough A spec points. Uh, the pink Yaris, aka pink, pink Vitz, doesn't actually exist in this game. It's only pink in GT3. Okay. Okay, I finally did this corner, so what good? Get a nice toe off them again. Oh, this is going to be tough. Too far behind. Too far behind to slipstream first place. And too far ahead to slipstream the person behind me. Okay, I need a good run. I need a good run. How are things going? We're about to finish the Sunday Cup. And all I've done other than this is be license and silver. So I had a pretty decent start as far as luck goes. And there we go. God, that took like 30 minutes, didn't it? That took way too long to get through this. But, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to restart races and try to get the A-spec points as close to 100 as possible because I did a lot of restarting because the car was too heavy right there. But there we go. 600 credits. Sunday Cup has been completed. And now, prize car time. Y'all place your guesses. And I get, ooh, hells yes, Evo 6 RS, TME. So that car unlocks several things for me. That has unlocked rally races, uh, at least medium difficulty rally races, or normal. I think it's normal. This has also unlocked four-wheel drive, and uh, I think the Evo One Make Race has tuned Evos in it, so I'm not sure if I can use it there. I'd probably need to get the Mines Evo to do that. But, yeah, uh, we don't have to do any licenses for a, a good thick minute, because I can do a few events with that. Uh, except for the special condition events, because I think I need International B for the normal ones, which I do. So, we can't do those just yet. But we can go to those if we need to. So, other races I can do right now. Is this a front-wheel drive, rear, or rear-wheel drive? Yes, it is. It might be too slow for the FR challenge. So I can't use this in the one make. I can use this maybe, no, I don't think, I think it'll be too slow for the classic car series. I could probably use this for the classic car series if it allows it. Uh, and obviously the Evo, I can use it in Japanese events. I'm definitely going to have to put standard tires and probably some ballast on it as well. But we're going to go ahead and get in this. And get some stuff done with it. Have another look at the new UI there. 
And I, I can't actually afford dirt or snow tires right now anyway, so even if I could do the special condition events, I can't afford to do it, so. Um, I think that's all I'm going to need for now. Can I do any of these yet? Uh, 70s and compact are the only ones I'm licensed for, so no, I can't. As far as the Evo one makes, I don't think I'm licensed for this either. Actually, I am. All right, we'll just hop in here real quick and see what it looks like. It's a pretty short series, so it would definitely be worth it to do this. Rive train. Oh yeah, the um, these builds of PCSX2 are kind of broken. Uh, certain text is missing. It's been doing that like on and off for several months now that I think about it. Let's turn all that off. We have the standard tires equipped already, so let's just see what our A spec points are. And then we'll go from there. Uh, 138. Um, I'm actually going to put the sport mediums on and see how that is. Because that's a little high for me. Sport mediums. Then I, I, if it's just below 100, then I'll just crank up the ballast. Okay, this is perfect. Evolution meeting. Let's go. Watch I win an Impreza from this, and then it'll be kind of fitting for the thumbnail. Because <laughs> the thumbnail is an Evo being won by a Boxer engine race. It's kind of goofy. Ooh, this thing shifts pretty fast, too. Oh, wow. Understeer galore. I have no force feedback still, so... My steering's probably going to be a little bit awkward in these faster cars. Just a heads up. Oh my god, what are these lines? Alright, not too shabby. Already up to second. Yeah, these Evos have a crazy amount of body roll on them. And a lot of front, or front end grip under braking. Like, watch this. I didn't mean to slide that much, but yeah. Does that every single time. It's like off throttle, or on the brakes, oversteer, on the throttle, understeer. Coasting perfect. Whoa. Wow, that was actually perfect. Perfect final corner. Uh, why no force feedback? Uh, it's just the PCSX2 builds are broken. I had it like about a month ago, but for some reason I updated it and it hasn't been working since. I could just go back to an older version, but I'm too lazy to do that. Alright, see you later, King Lynch. Thank you for stopping by. 
That is how you pronounce it, right? Lich, or is it, like, like? Because I am terrible with pronouncing things. You said it correctly? All right, perfect. I finally got something correct for once. All right, first of three races of the evolution meeting. It's going to be nice and short. Also, 2,000 credits each one, so... Slowly go getting out of the prop, prop properties, yes. Even though the only thing I could buy is tires, but tires are expensive in this game, so I need everything I can get. Yeah, this is definitely going to be easier than Sunday Cup. Fuji 90s. Not too shabby. That's a lot of wheel spin for all-wheel drive. Also, I think this car has a, has a uh, modded sound as well. I can't remember if this is what it sounds like at the original game or not. Okay. okay. Nice. <laughs> Just squeezing by everybody. Almost stayed on. Hello, cones. Yes, I could cheese this, but... I'm actually good at the game. Ish. I'll take these out too because yeah oh look at that I cut a corner it's kind of weird because I have like so if the cars were evenly matched you'd get 60 a spec points I have almost twice as much that but I'm still beating them pretty easily So I wonder what kind of upgrades they have. It's probably just tires or something. I didn't see no penalty. I didn't hear no bell. If I actually get an Impreza as a prize car for this event, I am probably going to die of laughter. Oh, come on. The best possible thing that could happen is getting a truck and a supercar early on. Because those are probably going to be the hardest things to get. Guess the country of the prize car. I think it's going to be... I think it's going to be Italian. I think I'm going to get an it Italian car for this series. I could have cheesed it and say Japan because that's obviously the most cars in the game, but... Can you get the same thing twice? Yes, you can. And if you repeat an event, so say you do the Sunday Cup all over again, 
I'm just gonna get the Evo again, anyways. So, there's kind of no point in doing that. The Panas, ooh, interesting. Aren't there only like four Australian cars? I know there's one Swedish car, which is the Volvo, I think. Still below 100, so we're good. Also, I think this is, yeah, this is one lap. That's the one thing I remember about this. That boxy Volvo is the only one I remember. The station wagon. Ooh. Oh my god, the Dome Zero. If I actually, like, if I, wherever I go back to the licenses, if I get a prize car that you normally get from the licenses, I'm probably gonna cry inside. Or imagine I actually end, or get the exact same prize car for a certain event. Out of like 700 in the game, and I just end up getting the same thing anyways. Evo 8 starting to pull away. I wonder if I can catch it. A little over two behind. Mm, probably not. Unless it's just absolutely terrible through this last sector. Oh, that was perfect. Nope, I got on throttle too early. Oh, I was hoping it was going to bounce the wall. Eh, that's not going to be enough. I'll go ahead and take the prize credits for this, at least, since I'm already almost done, but got to do it again with a different lineup. That EVO 8 MR is definitely OP. Need to change oil. I can't purchase anything in this playthrough, so not even oil changes. Not even a car wash. Actually, well, I can purchase one thing, and that's tires, but that's it. <laughs> we need DRS. If, I, if it comes to that, I'll drive dirty. I don't care. Uh, wait, that's a 7 GSR, 7, 7 RS. There's no Evo 8 here, so I'm going to go with it. That three is actually pretty fast. It's got to be tuned in some way. My French car. Yeah, I was going to say French at first, but then I thought, eh, I think it's going to be Italian. Don't mind me, just squeezing right by you, Mitsu Volts. Too throttle happy in this thing. I gotta be patient because as soon as I get on the throttle, I just drive in a straight line essentially. 
I'm so closer than last attempt, so I'm gonna go with it. Ah. The struggle is real. The skill issue is real. I'm not gonna get momentum through here with this blue boy in front of me, so I'm just gonna do that instead. Keep the inside. Stay out of my slipstream. Alright, there we go. We got it. Oh, I gotta sneeze. Ugh, I gotta sneeze. I hate when that happens. All right, up to 20k, not too shabby. All right, what's it gonna be? Oh boy. It's gonna be useful or useless. My prediction is Italian car, and we get... Oh. Oh. I might be able to use this. I have an idea. I have an idea. I I don't know if it's actually useful, but I'm going to find out. 306 horsepower. And without tuning it, I don't think it's in this one. It's four-wheel drive? Ooh. Okay, this is the race I'm eyeballing for this car. I can probably use it here. I don't have the light I don't have the license for it yet. And the downside is I think the roof yellowbird shows up in this one, and I think it's OP in terms of power. But I might be able to do this. Maybe. But I don't have the A license yet, so we'll have to go back to that at some point. Is this naturally aspirated? It is. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at that one actually. Turbo Sports. And just so I don't waste any money on tires, I'm just gonna put on standard road tires for now. Hop in there and check like Get a ballpark estimate of the A spec points. Because I don't think I've ever actually driven this thing. Because you always get it super late in the game anyways. So, where was it? Naturally aspirated. Let's find out. I'm trying to avoid buying tires that I don't need, so I'm just going with standard tires for now because they're free. Also, what the hell? Zonda? Okay, um... Yeah. Oh, the A-spec points are there, though. They are definitely there. So... I'm gonna put some ballast on this thing, and I'm gonna go for it. Wait. Did it do Oh, wait a minute. Okay, that's what the prompt was for. I was like, wait a minute. I didn't catch that, but... Yeah, I can't put turbo parts on this thing. Durr. Alright. A little bit of ballast, or I could lower the downforce too. But I'd rather just put ballast on. Hopefully that's enough. Is it at 100 yet? Oh, perfect. Nice. Nailed it. So at least for the for the more technical tracks in this series, it should be a piece of cake. 
But I have no idea how this thing drives because, like I said, I've never driven it before in all my understeer. All my understeer. This is probably going to be bad. So bad, in fact, I might actually have to try hard cam this one. First place is starting to take off a little bit. Oh, this is slow, slow without racing tires. Oh, yep. Yeah. That Zonda is gone. Five and a half seconds right now. Still got a little over two laps to go. We'll just see where I get. Do I play on PC? Yes, I do. Oh, this is going to be awkward. They are definitely on much better tires than I am. I might just have to restart this and make sure the Zonda doesn't show up here. What's my split? By the next sector? Yeah, I probably should just give up on this one. I am a little bit closer by the looks of it. 4.6 behind. But I'm going to go ahead and call that one. We definitely need to change up the grid because that was not going to work. And I could buy sport tires and lower the downforce, but I still only have 20k, and I gotta use that wisely. So we'll, we'll try plan A, B, and C first before we resort to that. Uh, no Zonda in here, so we'll give this a shot. So I can lower the ballast again, decrease the downforce. So we'll go 18, 21. Yeah, guys, I, I can't buy anything except tires. That means no tuning parts. No cars, no oil changes, not even a car wash. Wait, I didn't even, I didn't pay attention to the A-spec points there. Oh. Yeah, that dropped a lot. I guess that Zonda boosted it a ton, so. Time to put our ballast back. And I'll just go ahead and lower the downforce the rest of the way in the front. Up. That's up, not down. Ay ay ay. 
All right, so we're at 1070 kilos. Kilos. Yeah, let's just go ahead and max it out. All right, where are we at now? 115. I can bring it back down again. Yeah, I could do it to where the Zonda starts in like fifth or something as well, but. Well, it already understeers like crazy the way it was. All right, 140. Where are we at? 105, I'll take it. I don't need to do the speech as a trophy because my definition of beating the game for this series is getting to the end credits uh, screen, which basically is just beating the GT World Championship. This game will be impossible to do like 100% on with this particular challenge, especially for a lot of the one makes, because like you'd have to get like a 2CB or a Subaru 360 or something like that. At some point. But this is just extremely unlikely. So yeah, any percent. It's paved, I'm using it. Hello, Cone. Uh, no. If you do the same event twice, then you'll get the same prize card that you got the first time. Oh my god. You freaking re. Bullied. If it's on tar, if it's tar, I'll... If it's tar on it, I'll drive my car. You made my brain short circulate, Fran. Thank you. Oh, okay. Nice brake check. Boing. Oh my God. This thing is like 90% power to the front wheels, it feels like. Are you sure it's four-wheel drive and not just, like, front-wheel drive? I'm just going to take out the rest of these because fuck it. And I'll make the... Oh, I think I made it touch one. Almost overshot that one like crazy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is front wheel drive.
Okay, let's let's actually find out. Yep, it's four wheel drive. The e brake test just confirmed it. Because it kicks into neutral instead of just like letting you lock up your rear brakes while still in gear. Because you see how the car is going in the neutral when I do this. It doesn't say neutral in the gear indicator, but considering it grays out like that, that's basically neutral. If it was front wheel drive, it wouldn't be doing that. So this is indeed all wheel drive. Yeet. Oh, okay. I didn't hit that one. So I'll E shift with this one. Alright. So that was pretty easy after we got rid of the Zonda. Not too shabby. Oh, 7,500 credits per race. Nice. Get that tire fund up early on. Is this five races? It is. So we'll, we'll be here for a minute. A few minutes. Apricot Hill. I think that TBR was actually a problem, if I remember right. So much wheel spin. Oh, man, the understeer. I, I am pretty positive that TVR was the one that gave me trouble. If it's not in, if it's not for this event, it's for a different event that did have Apricot Hill Reverse on it. Oh wait. Yeah, this thing is pretty terrible. It would definitely be the worst Group Four car. Oh my god. I got passed by a GTO in that sweeper. This is awful. I still have downforce on this thing, by the way. But it doesn't feel like it. And everybody's going to pull away from me at straightaways I think the breaking zones are the only places I can actually catch up and I gotta make sure not to run into the back of them and kill my momentum don't mind me just using you as a wall. Oh, there goes a TVR, by the way. That's what I was worried about. It's 
shivering time and TBRs everyone. <laughs> Stay off the throttle. Ooh, I don't know about this one. Oh my god. This thing does not want to steer. Alright, that's not going to happen. Definitely not. All right, no, no TVRs, no Zondas, and lower the ballast again if I have to. Get sport tires. I could, but I have, I'd have to raise the ballast quite a bit. I could also raise the front downforce again. And just keep the rear where it is. Uh, I'm oh my god. I'm gonna try that actually. We'll go twenty twenty one. We will drop this to I didn't even look at what the grid is. We got a Corvette Grand Sport 350Z. Uh, looks pretty good to me, so let's go for it. Oh my god. Okay, it's probably not good. Alright. In that case, let's uh, bring the front down for us all the way up. And... Ballast all the way down. What's it gonna be now? 106, I'll take it. Definitely has better acceleration now. Get to the front as early as possible, even if that means cutting a little bit. Oh my, thank you for the nudge. There's an apex there somewhere. Bonk. Revenge. Can I stay in the slipstream? Mm, a little bit. I can't really notice a big difference in the handling either with that extra <clears throat> with the extra front downforce and reduced ballast. It's definitely a little bit better, but not a ton. Oh, okay, thank you for the nudge again. VQ go boom. I need to get around this Corvette. But I'm definitely not going to do that whenever I'm on the outside with worse handling. 350, you're not getting around and give me. Don't care. Rubbing's racing. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Yeah, My favorite Lewis Hamilton quote. Yeah. 
Oh my god. Understeer. Ooh. Why couldn't it give me like the BMW touring car instead? It's like around the same power, but it's not like this. Oh, it's 240. That was like around 300. Corvette's still only one second behind. Uh oh, they're right on my ass. Mm, but I don't think they have enough power. Alright. Got it. They almost caught up at the end, but not quite. The fat office. Add another 7,500 to the funds. Yeah, that 350Z is definitely tuned a little bit. Going back to Motegi. Oh boy. This rolling start is probably going to be a huge pain. Full course. Uh, and the TVR is up front, so screw that. The Zondo is in there as well. This is... Yeah, and the fact that Motegi is such a technical track. Oh god. This is not going to be good. I might actually buy sport mediums for this. But let's uh, give it a shot first. 109. I'm going to lower this to 100. I'm getting every bit I can get. Yep, different TVR, but I think this one's like less OP, at least. Alright, my ballast is already down to the max, so I don't know if increasing rear downforce will help, but we'll try it. So, 103. Well, let's see what happens, I guess. Oh, that's the old B6 too, the Cerbera. Um, I think I need a vectoring center differential to adjust the torque split. I don't think they come with them. Cerbera. Oh. 
Oh my god. Alright, I don't have the patience to deal with you today. Frig off. Oh my god, first place is gone. Eight seconds ahead already. Oh no. Is that the TBR? I swear to god if that's a TBR. What car was that? Okay, it was the Spira doing that. Oh. Alright. I'm going to buy tires. I'm going to buy sport mediums. And I will add ballast where I need it. Because that understeer is ridiculous. So, there goes a little bit of our funds, but it's fine because we're getting a decent amount per race right now anyways. Wait, where is this professional derp? Oh my god. My chat keeps blocking, like, all the partially completed things. Can't see them. <laughs> I'll check the uh, the torque split real quick. Oh, the spear is in freaking second. Go figure. Uh, oh, I actually can. Bye bye front wheels. There, there's no way that was a real split, anyways. Nah, -uh, I don't buy it. All right. Let's uh, get a feel for the A spec points, even though the Spear is in second place right now. I'm probably not going to race against it. Oh, no. That brought it down way too much. Yeah, all race cars come with a full diff and race suspension as well. Dang, I'm actually going to have to look for tougher opponents now. There's another TBR. Two of them. I need the same lineup I had in Apricot Hill. Oh yeah, that's right. I do want it for points. I just said I wanted better cars for more points, but now I'm trying to get slow cars again. I guess I just want the faster cars to start towards the back, like this one. Except for the Tamara, but... Oh well. Alright, 90. We can work with this. I will lower the downforce. Mm, I might need to bring it down lower than that. I'm gonna try to not touch my the ballast. 103, I'll take it. Alright, is this thing still gonna be an absolute turd on sport mediums? And with a new power distribution. Oh yeah, it's definitely much better now. Until you get on the power, that is, but... I'm pretty much going to have to learn how to drive a whole new car. And I'm going to have to keep up with this... proto mower mower Proton mowers, yes. Tamora isn't really taking off just yet, so that's good.
Excuse me, coming through. <laughs> Gallardo at home. Gallardo, Gallardo. Gord Lardo. Who knows, it might actually get to the point where I do have to try some driving missions. Also, flickering, hello. I actually just remembered something. I don't know if this is true or not, but let's go ahead and test it. If I can. Uh, actually, the resolution is going to be too low, but I'm still going to do it anyways. It's probably like zero difference on stream. But apparently, if you put your resolution at like X.5... then it should fix the flickering. At least that's what somebody said. Oh, I can't see the sun right now. There it is. No flickering yet. Oh, look. Let's try it again right here. Mm, no flickering still. Oh my god, that actually does fix it. The sun didn't shine through the bridge. Holy shit. The downside is like the highest you can put it in is like in between 1080 and 1440, which is what I'm in right now. I don't know what that is exactly, but... I can't believe that actually works. No more epilepsy. Hell yeah. I, uh, I think the PCSX2 devs might need to know about that. The fact that that's a fix of all things. I could do custom res. I'm not sure if I can, but I'll, I'll try it. Thing is, I don't know if that if it breaks anything else. What multiplier do I usually run? I think it was on... I was either on 6x or 8x. I think it was in 4k, which is 6x. I think. I think, I think, I think, I think. Also, I am destroying everybody right now. <laughs> I just noticed that. So much for not cheesing it. Six point five. Noted. That might actually be a speed boost too, because uh, I did notice that like the transparent and flickering lights were like causing a speed issue at some points. I'm going to have to go back and find that comment.
You know what? I think at this point I'm going to go ahead and turn on some music. Because it is kind of bland in here right now. So I did look at the volume earlier, so it should be fine. Let's figure it out. It's a little loud, actually. I'll just lower it in OBS. We'll do that. And yeah, this is a little intense for me destroying the competition. Oh, pff. Stupid thing. I forgot it always does that. Daiki Kasho moment. If it is too loud, just let me know. And then I'll lower it. Alright, see you later, Yellow Lord. Nice, nice videos, by the way. I have a... Uh, looked at your videos before. Recently, actually. Revenge on TBR successfully done. Alright, I think we just have one more to go, right? Or is it two more to go? I forgot. A bit crap. Just a bit. All right. Oh, 102. That's actually perfect. Hey, I appreciate it. Yeah, I've noticed that, like, a lot of people have been around for a while, but they don't really comment or chat that often but it is nice to uh to have some other creative show uh, creators show up every now and then Oh wow, that was a lot of grip right there, suddenly. Oh. Zonda's trying to make quick work of everybody right now. It's so weird driving on this track now with no flickering lights. And all it took was like a weird resolution to fix it. Oh, Nebu has surrendered to the cats. Yep. Which res? I'm using 3.5x right now, so basically, basically like any of the the in between multipliers, like x.5, should fix the the lighting issues. So if I ever need to drop my resolution, that's definitely what I'm going to be doing from now on. These lights are a little bit flickery, but I think those are normal. I think they're supposed to actually be flashy. Oh. Oh, you can't use custom on QT? You could probably just, like, 
maybe you can put it in yourself or code it in yourself. I don't know how it works, though. So. Uh, weird friend, because Vulcan's by far the best one for me. Yeah, I definitely prefer using a wheel in this game, uh, Toxic. It, the force feedback doesn't work right now, so it's kind of a little weird, but yeah. I can't tell if that Zonda is starting to catch up or not. I haven't been paying attention to the splits. Found the value? For the resolutions? One more race to go in this series. All the way at the bottom, resolution multiplier. Ooh. So if you change it in the INI file, does it change it like in the emulator, like on the go? Or does it just like change one of the options? Ooh. I'll definitely take a look at it after this stream. Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally happened. After one of PC. Why the fuck did you play one of my commentary audio files just now? Did y'all did y'all hear that? That was a file that I recorded for a commentary video. And I was like, what on what on earth is playing right now? And then I realized it like the fuck? Okay, let me uh, fix that real quick and get my music back. This is my stream playlist. So, I don't know what the fuck happened there. Okay, is that all the ones that I want? It is. Is it on repeat? It's on repeat, so it just should just repeat these same songs. So let's try this again. I actually don't want to start on that song. Let's see this one. Or that one, I guess, because it keeps changing it on me. <laughs> Very intense, even though we're not doing anything right now. All right, we got to raise our ballast back up again. So we'll go up by... 60. And the Zonda and TVR are here, so. 
but it is a standing start. It's hopefully not too bad. Okay, I'm just gonna pause this. Just pause it. Ah, uh, stop controlling the freaking thing, please. Oh. All right, 80. We're going to 80, and we're keeping it there. Because we're just one race away. Oh my god. Okay, I guess we're not keeping it there, because... Oh, you got to keep bringing it up and up and up and up and up. This is the part where I start losing my, my mind. I'm going to need a little drinky poo here in a little bit. I can tell you that for sure. I'm not maxing it out if I don't need to. <laughs> 101. No wheel spin, nice. All right, now you can turn on music as I go off the road. No big deal. Oh my God, Zonda's already in second. It might just be a 1v1 between me and it. This card was really trash at first when I was on standard road tires, but now it's it's a lot better that I got that I reduced the front power distribution to 10% and put sport mediums on it. Still not great, but way better than before. Is it going to catch up? Probably not. Yeet. Ish. Uh, I don't find any assists good at all, except for like traction control and group P or group B cars, but that's about it. I mean, not group B, group C, herp, alphabet much. Okay, the car just goes straight. After a certain point. Alright, I shouldn't do that again. I'm gonna regret it. No more yeetage.
next car will be American? I don't think we've gotten one yet. In fact, I think we've only gotten Japanese cars so far. Well, the thing is, I didn't choose this car. The game chose this car for me, and I can use it in this event, so I'm using it here. Can't really hear the car sounds, though. Whoa! Let's go across it in reverse. Uh, I can't. I can raise the volume a little bit, I guess. I'll try it right there. All right. Naturally aspirated event done. Finally. That was a... Even though they were kind of short races, it was a little bit longer than I thought it would be with all the retries and stuff. All right. Car number five, I believe it is. What are we going to get? I still haven't done any of the drivetrain races, too, so... Oh, boy. I'll take that. Hell, yeah. You know what? I'm gonna screenshot that one, actually. And I'm pretty sure I can use it. Somewhere. Don't know where yet, but it should be good for the FR challenge. Nice. I'm getting some pretty decent luck as a uh, as Ashes and Bubbles would say. Decent. Nice. This this should actually be good for the FR challenge, so I'm going to go ahead and hop in it. And if I can get that out of the way, then that would be nice. So, let's uh let's have a look at the A spec points in here. All right, gotta go. Thanks for stopping by, Rufus. Have a good night. All right. Oh, there's an SL500 in here. I don't know if that's actually a problem or not. Let's find out. Oh, 121. I can do this. I got this. I just have to take the... Uh, assist off. Not the crossfire? What do you mean? There's no down... Oh, there is downforce on this thing. Okay, well, I actually need the car to be better, so I'm gonna keep it up. <laughs> I almost tried to nerf it. Imagine. All right. Yeah, it's been so long since I've done beginner and professional events, I kind of don't remember them at all. Also, is that an AZ-1? Oh my god. Okay, that's a uh, GTSC, not an AZ-1. I was like, wait, what the hell? Also, new car sound, hello. Nice. It doesn't sound hideous anymore. I 
It doesn't sound like a, uh, an electric weed whacker. <laughs> Sounds like a demon seagull. Thanks, big dogs play these video games. I appreciate it. Yep, I have been super busy with life stuff, but I have time, so I'm just relaxing now. Also, you you can like the gas pedal's on the right side, Mr. SL500. Also, that has an automatic transmission, I just heard. Weed whacker, weed eater. <clears throat> weed eater, weed eater. And yeah, this is definitely proving to be super easy. Yeah, I've started calling them weedy eaters too. Yeah, I just mentioned how the uh, the 190E sound is different. And the SL500 is behind me as well. Oh my, there's an Apex there somewhere. Weed Tweaker? That's uh, something I probably would have never said. Fran's just a boomer. He doesn't like change. Fran is a yellow Evo enjoyer. But yeah, I've had... I was going to say something, but I don't want to jinx myself, so I'm not going to say it anymore. That's it. <laughs> All right, race one. Piece of cake. It's probably just really reluctant on the track. And now we're back down to poverty credits. 1,500 each. Oh, Sukuba. In a 190. See how it does on a rolling start. Well, I think Seattle is a rolling start here, so... The same. Oh, the 240 sounds different. I can hear it. Oh, okay. That was terrible. Or was it? Yes, it was. Oh, okay. I forgot the AI are basically Helen Keller in this game. 
They will shove you off the track with no mercy. Oh, okay. And I'm pretty sure the RX-8 was changed as well. Yep, definitely different. Oh, it was a Sil-80? I, I didn't see the front end of it. Okay, I'm right here, bud. Yeah, these, these FR challenge races are super easy for the A-spec points that I'm getting. <laughs> Am I using race tires? No, these are probably sport mediums, I'm assuming. Whatever came on this car. Five, five, And overhaul the event structure. Uh, yeah, I think I saw you changing like the AI for certain events. But that was a while ago. If that's what you're referring to. Yeah, this is all going to be a cakewalk. I would be tempted to do frame skipping, but that would be cheating. And I have to prove that I'm better than everybody else at a video game because... Ego. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I didn't see you talking about any of that, I don't think. Pardon me. And first place already, halfway through lap one. I might use this in the Clubman Cup later on as well.
if it's a good choice for it. I think Clubman was like around 250 horsepower or something like that. Ish. Uh, do you, apparently some people had to get like over 367 days for the cheats to work. But, I don't know, with some people it's just been a little fucky. Worked just fine for me my first try. But I have like over a thousand days on the game save I did it on. Uh, yeah, 366. Yeah, I updated this. So, Ninkai's original tree. Oh, I fucking. I can't speak right now, I swear to God. Ninkai's original tweet said 365 days, so that's what I said in my video. And then Matt J155 made his video about it, and he mentioned that you actually have to get 100 or 367. Did I say 150? I don't fucking know. 367 or more. So then I corrected my description saying 367 or more. But I don't know. Some people said it worked at that point. Transmission by I am not purchasing anything except for tires in this playthrough. Hmm, that's weird, DDM. I think the... Actually, no, I tried to do it on license tests already completed, so that doesn't count, but... The one to gold any event, that worked for me, and the credits one worked for me as well. Oh, well, der. If you get the combination wrong, it's not gonna work. Oh yeah, that's probably why. Nice line there, a uh, fake skyline. Oh my god. Don't care. Oh, the FC, the FC sounds different too.
Oh, that 300C is, like, very peppy. Throaty. Meaty. Oh my god. The gas pedal's on the right side. Jeez. Why does YouTube just delete the rest of my message if I end it with an emoji? Uh, that's the first time I've ever heard anyone bring that up. It's funny how, like, I thought I was going to have to do all the licenses before I got something useful. But I've only done B license silver, and I still have plenty of events to do before I have to go back. I mean, of course, I'm going to have to get at least the international A license at some point. Just not right now. Use the cheat codes? No. No. Not only is it not, or not only is it a challenge run, I also don't have anywhere near 365 days yet, anyways. All one A spec point. Take a group C car to the MR challenge. All right, is this Wonderland? I think this is Motorland. Actually. Uh, I was hoping it was the other direction of Motorland, so the cars would fly off the track and sometimes into the pits. Alright, out of my way. Oh, little late. Well, yeah, of course, this is a, a, a fresh game save, because I wouldn't do it on my current one. Right, let me just get around you real quick.
No, I'm pretty sure, like, in the other direction, in one of the Honda one make races, they kept going into the gravel after turn one and flying into the pits that direction. Oh, I don't think I've done the 206 Cup yet, actually. Alright. FR challenge complete, I think. I think that was the last race. Alright, for the FR challenge. Mm. I was actually comparing this car to the Mazda 6 touring car earlier, like in the back of my mind. Like thinking, it would have been cool if I got this instead of that. And here it is. Okay. Also, yeah, front-wheel drive car on the FR Challenge. Go figure. So, I have two options for the tuning car championship, at least. Whenever we get to that. So, eh. It's alright, I guess. Actually... You know what? If I'm ever in a, if I'm ever in a pinch, I could sell this. I didn't say anything about selling cars. I just said the only thing I could buy are tires. And if I run low on tire funds at some point, I can definitely do that. So, um, that's not exactly useful right now, at least. So, I think my next plan, the, I think the Evo is going to be too powerful for the four-wheel drive challenge. Unless I put economy tires on it, which is going to be absolute pain. So, I'm going to try something with this. Actually, first, let me see if I have any more relevant events I can do right now. Mm, I don't think I could do that one just yet. Nothing weak enough. Nothing weak enough. Nothing. I might be able to get the S800 race car low enough for that. Spider and Roadster, I don't think I have anything yet. Professional events. Oh, I could do the Club and Cup right now. Oh. Oh, right. Can't do that yet. Alright, well, might as well just do that. I guess. If the 190E can compete with those cars. As is. Yeah, if I get a truck early on, that's going to be extremely helpful. But I think there's only like f four or five different trucks in the game, and there's over 700 cars, so it's like a... like a 1% chance of getting one. Those are not good odds. Also, how many spec points was that? I think it was like 150 something. I didn't see.
Oh my god. Okay, I'm getting cut off. Heat spraying in self anguish. Oh. Did y'all hear that? The Celica engine noise is glitched. Yep, it's glitched. Uh, I think that's just the GT4. Cutting corners. Well, we got three laps, so I'm going to stick with it. Oh, wow. They are pulling away hard. They got some power. Focus is losing focus. We are keeping up with them, though. Oh my god, that thing's hauling ass. Oh, okay. Thank you. Dick. Trying to stay on the road as much as possible through there, because that just, just destroys my speed. If I could get a bump off of you, that'd be great. Thank you. Alright, I have to be in front of this car by the chicane. If I'm not, then I'm screwed. Oh, go wider, go wider, go wider, please. Aw. Oh. I don't know if, uh... Cheese shifting is going to be faster in this thing, so I'm just not going to go ahead and risk it. Alright, I gotta get this one just right. Nope, not enough. Mm, I think that is faster, actually. I can beat this one as is. Just gotta do it a little bit better. Get up to the front sooner. Yep, that's definitely glitched. And also no wheel spin at the start. That'd, that'd be handy. 
Kind of surprised this thing is getting wheel spin. Much better. Get around them without getting cock blocked. That was close. That thing has tires squealing as engine noise. Oh, there goes the focus again. Completely blind. Let's try it here. Oh yeah, much better. <laughs> I just hearing tires squealing behind me. How long did I practice e-shifting for? Uh, it didn't really take me that long, to be honest. It's just a really good <clears throat> technique that I use. Even though it looks really goofy, it works. Much closer compared to last time. That was perfect. Not only am I going to get a slipstream, I'm also going to get a boost. Oh, a little bit of a sketchy boost. Okay, too sketchy. Oh, no. That probably just ruined the race. That probably just ruined it. Get out of my way. Okay. <laughs> ah! It didn't compensate my braking zone enough for all that extra speed. Alright, third time's the charm. That is true, Fran. I could, uh... I could do a thing. A little bind.
Excuse me. Don't know why I keep downshifting there wherever I don't need to. Excuse me. And that was a little slow. Yeah, I think it was dumb how you can't just turn off the gear indicator by itself. Wait, the focus in this race is actually a hybrid? <laughs> An artificial power boost? I thought the, uh, the tuned parts, or the tuned cars in these events would just have random parts on it. That's always how I thought it would be, at least. Dang, we're only on lap two and I'm already in first. What do you mean it's a no-go? Like, what happens? Hmm, that's weird. I want to say something, but I'm not going to because I know what's going to happen. there but not too shabby all right there we go finally did it didn't have to get soft tires for this either Ooh, first yawn of the night What's up, Jason the Hedgehog? How you doing? 
Wait, was that our... Yeah, that was only the first Club Men Cup race. We still got four more to go. But at least we are trimming away the beginner and a professional event. Fucking A. The beginner and professional events, which are the relevant ones in this series. So that's nice. Yes, indeed, it has been randomized. And so far, the ones I've gotten are the S800 race car, the Mazda 6 touring car, the Integra touring car, the 190E, the Isuzu something, I forgot which one exactly, and I think that's it. I'm probably missing one. Oh, and an Evo 6 RS. So, pretty useful stuff so far. Oh, bonk. Excuse me. That V8S might be a problem. Uh, have you already started your uh, your emulator yet, Fran? That just sounds like it's a bug or something. Several times, uh-oh. Is this GT4 online or retail that you're talking about? Oh, PAL retail? That ain't good. Excuse me. Yeah, your game's all kinds of fucked up. So the only thing you've really done is use the gold license test cheat code and now it's broken.
essentially. Alrighty, Botegi done. Pretty, pretty easy. A lot easier than I thought it would be, actually. Hey, it's a full yawn. Oh boy. I might need a little drinky poo here in a minute. V8S starting out in front again. Oh my god, 161 A-spec points. This might be a problem. Especially with that thing starting up in front. Oh my god. I pretty much never drive this track. I don't even think I'm going to attempt that, to be honest. We'll get rid of the V8S. Thirty guy Carlton might be an issue, but I'm not exactly sure yet. Lower A spec points, though, at least. Okay, that was awkward. Bonk. First and second are starting to take off. Okay, well, actually, not really. A little bit. Give me a boost, please. Oh, or not. You juked me. Rowdy outside. I should just stay in third for that corner. Oh, I fucked that one up. Alright, in the slipstream now.
Oh, come on. Oh. That was a bad frame drop. Oh, stop it. Stop. No. Oh my god. Too slow. get around. Oh my god. If you stop blocking me, that is. Oh, he's trying to force his way up front now. Same spot. You can take the inside line if you want. Your heated seat subscription has expired. Oh, almost missed that. Well, I did miss it, but yeah. All right, I'm pretty solid here. Knock on wood. Imagine if EA had a car brand, oh boy. Imagine if Activision had a car brand. Alrighty, bam, we're speed running this now, not even looking at the end result screen. Imagine trying to speed run this challenge. Oh boy. Wait a minute, five laps at Clubman stage, are you serious? Damn. It's kind of fucked. Oh, I didn't even pay attention to first and second, what they were in. <laughs> Vehicular prostitution. There's a broken Celica again. So the RSX is in front. And it's either that or the Elise that's stupid fast. Most likely the Elise. Oh, excuse me. And with the Elise now in front, we're probably going to see it disappear. Especially if this guy don't get out of my way. Oh, missed that one. Boost, please. Not like it's gonna matter that much. Oh, okay.
Oh, let's see if I can catch back up to this guy. Oh. I'm gonna have to get these turns perfect every lap. Those ex weren't exactly perfect, a little slow. Ooh, that was too slow. Too early on the turn in there. Oh, that hurt. I am still keeping up with it somewhat. I got two laps to go. Slipstream, or at least a little bit. Every bit I can get. But slowly getting closer. And once I get in front of it by the final corner, I can just block it and keep it behind me. Almost hit the back of it. Oh, no. Okay, I thought I was going to hit the wall harder than that. Okay, I'm kind of in the same position as I was last lap. I'm going to have to make a move. Uh, yep, two tenths further behind that time. I don't think it's going to be enough. Try hard position. Failed that. Yep, Elise is gone. Not quite. Yeah, look out. We were super far ahead of the rest of the field, too. Like almost a whole sector. This is like Gran Turismo 7 tier single player races. The Fabian Portilla. Mm, okay, the lease is further back. It's a rolling start, so I'm not going to risk it. Oh, wrong race. Oh, come on. Evo 3, VAS. All right, I got this one. And the broken sound Celica again. Why not receive credits? It was only going to be like 1,500 anyways, so...
up to the front nice and quick. All right, catch you next time, Floyd. Thanks for stopping by. Glad you enjoyed it. This might be my last race of the night. It depends if I find a short series after it, but I am definitely feeling a little drinky poo and I'm pretty hungry. Borderline hangry, so. Alright, now this is just going to be way too easy. <laughs> Might as well put the music back on, I guess. It's kind of quiet. Now fix on your end. What was the uh, the problem with it in the first place? Was it just like a sound file being off, or because I don't think it was a GT4 online thing on its own? Because I think I've used it on this uh, on the GT4 online build before. Oh, cool. License passcode doesn't work on GD4 online either. Mm, it should. Oh, I want to test something in the replay. Because of some camera angles in the replay, there's this weird PCSX2 bug that's kind of hard to explain. So I guess I'll just 
show it if I see it. All right. So. Oh, I meant to watch the replay. Derp. We'll just go back to it. Up to 70,000 credits now. Not bad. Slowly climbing out of poverty. Yeah, um, pretty much exactly that, like, the car, yeah, the edges on the car is, like, double up, pretty much. It either has to do with, like, the haze or the field of view, probably. And it only does it, like, sometimes. I don't see it yet. Hmm. Yeah, I would have seen the car like mess up by this point, but I don't see it yet. I'm even looking at, like, the cars that the camera isn't focused on either. Hmm. I think it's actually fixed in the... in the 3.5x native resolution. Because I didn't see it happen once that entire lap, and it was pretty common before. For now, I'll assume that that fixes it as well. Would be really handy for the devs to know. Alright, finally. Deep Forest, three laps. Oh yeah, I guess that would make sense too. I didn't see what was up front. I see a speedster. I see a Carlton again. Oh boy. An FC up front. Yeah, that speedster might be crazy, and it definitely is. I can tell. Oh, Eclipse, where are you going? Track limits. Alright, you need to get out of my way. No, oh, I forgot the music, but... Uh, I don't care enough to do it while I'm in the corners. Alright, there we go. I really just need to get that map to my wheels so I can just control the music from here. Bonk. Mm, come on. Let me back on the road, FC. Oh my god. Alright, now you're just trying to sabotage my race here. Get out of my way.
It is on my ass right now, but I'm about to lose it in this corner alone. Considering how much it slowed down last time. And how bad I'm failing this time, so probably not. Damn, already almost 80 miles on this thing. Overshot it again, but who cares? Anyways, that is the Clubman Cup completed. So, I'd say like medium difficulty as far as like how my car was set up at least. Which is literally bone stock, so. There's that. Alright. Price car time. What's it going to be? It's going to be a 12 CB or a GT1. I won the ex I won the exhaust glitch car. From the same series too. The Celca GT4 was in that series and I just got it. <laughs> Lol. And it's actually kind of useful because I can use it in the four-wheel drive challenge. Because I think the Evo is a little too powerful. So I'll definitely take it. And, oh my god. Exhaust. Rive train. All model. Suspension. Is engine screwed up too? I can't tell. Nah, engine and sus... <laughs> Spension. Spension. Okay. My chat was blocking it. That's why it took me a few seconds. Oh man. PCSX2 is fucked. Alright. Got some road tires for that. Just in case I need to put them on. Uh, how long is this one? Alright, this isn't too bad, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. Before I hop off. One more series. We're getting a lot of useful stuff. Like, back to back to back to back. Hopefully it stays that way, knock on wood. So, let's check our A-spec points. Okay, 142. I can definitely put the sport tires back on. I might have to increase the ballast a little bit, but I'd rather go that route. I was going to drop it too much. 112? Alright, I can take it. <laughs> Bonus content. Yep, 
Yeah, it sounds like the stock exhaust setup is just fine. And this is like a perfect car for this challenge too. Right above 100 A spec points. Exactly how it came. Oh, I forgot to take off the assists. I'm. I don't think I want to suffer through that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Definitely need to uh, de aids this thing. Bye bye. <laughs> Scotty Kilmer will be proud. All right, music time. From a different game. <laughs> yeah, this red is kind of bleached. It's like almost pink. Oh, nice backfires. Or after fires, I should say. Oh, bonk. Hello, cones. Goodbye, cones. Yep, faded red, nice and aged look. Not period correct, as far as this game goes, but... Time for the rest of them. Oh, I left one. So much for no cone left behind. Oh, okay, I lost it. Oops. Race one done. That was the easiest thing I've done so far. Oh my god. Stop it! Oh, I hate so much the fact that my wheel controls my stupid music app. So any button that I press on my wheel is gonna like pause or play or change the song. <laughs> Ugh. And I don't know if I can fix it either. Oh, going back to Autumn Ring Mini, I think. Alright, race two. Still below the A-spec points, or above it.
Another banger. Oh my god. See what I mean? Uh. I had to money shift there to take it back to the right track. Let me just shove my way through here. Emulator, yes, PCSX2 1.7 QT. These are the easiest events of all time. Oh, come on, get back on the road. No shifting run. That wouldn't even be a challenge, really. Just like... Mm. You wouldn't be able to complete a single race, really. Okay, that was a lot of front end grip right there. Maybe target 150 points for an extra challenge? Well... If I get over 100 A spec points and it's low enough, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Because if I start tweaking the car to get it higher a spec points then it's just gonna waste more time especially like the higher a spec points i go the more likely it is i'll have to restart a race and that just drags this on way longer than it really needs to be so i guess it just depends on how i'm feeling about it Easy AF. Oh my god. Stop it! Music! I need to remember to click off that window every time I am done using it. Because that just happens every single time. Did you know that if you drive the Escudo put it in sixth gear, you cannot, you pretty much can't accelerate at all from a standstill in sixth gear with the Escudo. You will never be able to get it to a decent speed. Suzuka East, Evo 5 up front. I think this is a rolling start. No, it's not, okay. Whoa! Huh? Huh? 30 A spec points. What the hell? My last race was like over 100. Does that RAM have anything to do with it? <laughs> that was weird. Okay, well, we have a Land Rover now. I think these huge cars are throwing off the A-spec points. They need to go away.
The big cars leave, and then the Janetta G4 shows up. Alright, that's more like it. Yeah. Music, I roar. I really just need a map buttons on my wheel for that. I'll probably do that tomorrow, actually. Pardon me. I've always been a little awkward around the east course. Yeah, I kind of noticed the Audis at the start, too. It was like, goddamn, got enough Audis? Oh, too wide. Skill issue. Well, smoking them like always. Oh. What events even use the West Track? I honestly have no idea, because I don't think I've come across one in my Let's Play just yet. <laughs> Unlike, unless some random European one make race goes there, but... I might have to ask around. Bam! That was cringe. Bam! Peanut butter and jam. If you know, you know. Yeah, I always forget about the existence of the West Course because it's just like never used for anything. It's kind of like forgotten. Alrighty, El Capitan up next. Oh, this is going to be an absolute cheese fest. I can already feel it. Oh, and it's reverse too. No concerns whatsoever. I think we already listened to this song, but fuck it. Do we need it again?
Don't think GT4 has any underrated tracks. Mm. It depends on how underrated, because by the term underrated, you mean good tracks that aren't really that popular. And I think every good track in this game is pretty popular. Maybe like C to Diaria. I don't know how popular that one is really, but it's a great track. I don't really like Costa de Amalfi that much. Okay, that was a beautiful sector right there, not gonna lie. Yeah, Hong Kong sucks. I guess an underrated one, in my opinion at least, would be Opera Paris. I know a lot of people don't like opera at all, but I have fun on it usually. I don't like Hong Kong because it's narrow, or I, I don't hate Hong Kong because it's narrow. I hate it because it's just not fun. Like, in my opinion, the track doesn't really work for anything. And yeah, Opera Reverse and the GT World Championship was absolute hell, but Hong Kong was definitely worse. I can't change your mind because I agree with you. Oh, yep, the red FCR7 was also my starter car on GT2. I actually did try to buy a red FC at one point. Oh my god, break off! <laughs> I need to. Remember that my wheel controls my music sometimes and it's annoying, but I actually did try to buy a red FC at one point, but it was a roller and On my way there. I was in a car accident. So that was fun I wouldn't have gone anywhere with that build anyways because I was broke and I was fucking stupid thinking I could afford to do thinking I could afford to build a piece of shit FC Arc 7 roller whenever I lived in an apartment. 
So, there was that. I am less stupid these days, though, believe it or not. Nope, come on. Just squeeze by everyone. Honestly, I never really used starter cars in GT4. I would always just get the licenses done and then hop in the 270R immediately. That's kind of been like my go-to strat throughout the years. But I like a GT4 remaster. Um, officially from Polyphony, I don't think I would want a remaster, to be honest. Because that would take time away from making new games. Even though the new games suck. Like, 7 and Sport weren't that great. They were good in some ways, but trash in others, just from sheer negligence for single player mode. But honestly, I don't think I would want GT4 Remastered because of that reason. It's just a waste of time, it seems. I don't think it needs it. I think like what we can do now with the emulator is more than enough. Also, I'm getting a nice toe from this RS200. Oops. Uh-oh. That's bad. Damn it. I just closed my entire stream freaking window. One second. I done goofed. Let me get that back up. Alright, we're good. Uh, that was quite the goof on my end. RS 200's keeping up with me. I'm gonna have to block it right here, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yes, this song is from GT4, but it's not copyrighted, so I use it in my stream playlist. So that's nice. All right, looks like we're safe. We are good. Wait, what? That was a comment that that was a comment that I left from two years ago on a GT1 soundtrack video. The fuck? What was the name of the video if you still have that? Alright. All wheel drive challenge complete. What kind of prize are we going to get for it? 
Oh boy. Are you going to be useful or useless? Oh my god, and a fitting car for once. I want a four-wheel drive car from a four-wheel drive challenge. Now, the thing is, with this particular car... Actually, oh no, it, it probably isn't. It's probably not. I don't think it's going to be useful for me. Here's why. The race of the Red R Emblem, the Skyline GTR race, that has tuned GTRs in it. It's probably going to be too slow for that. I just did the four-wheel drive challenge, so can't use it for that. I have an Evo already, which is a turbo car, which is probably better than this for the turbo sports challenge, if it's even strong enough. Uh, I could probably use it in the Japanese 90s challenge, or 90s festival. That might be a possibility. Maybe the Japan Championship as well. But I don't have the license to do that just yet. Uh, we might be in a bit of a block right now, boys. Unless we just start doing one makes now. Which the only one make we could really do is... Uh, is there a Celica one? I don't remember. Let me check. After we bring the chat back up. Any Celica events? No, there is not. Oh, nope. Alright, so I think the Celica is spent. The 190E. I think... Might be able to squeeze one more event out of this. Let me go check. Let's check the one makes first. Uh, I could probably do Silver Arrow. Actually, no. It's not going to be anywhere near fast enough for this field. So. That's not going to happen. Let's check here. Oh, I thought that was European events. Let's check European events. Uh, I think we could do Schwarzwald, if that's how you pronounce it, like a A. We should be able to do this one with it. But I'm not licensed for it, so we can't do that just now. Or just yet, rather. We could do the Isuzu one make. Maybe. It may be classic cars with this as well, but it might be a little too slow. Ugh. I really doubt the Evo is going to be fast enough for the turbo race. Also, this is a 2000, so... Well, I can just use this for... Japan 90s challenge. Alright, so I think I'm probably I think I'm forced to do the A license next. I don't have anything weak enough for the FF challenge. I don't have any MRs at all. The K Cup, I might be able to get the S eight hundred race car compatible with it. Or yeah. Spider and Roadster, I have nothing. Trucks, I have nothing. And... Yeah. Oh my god, sorry. So, what's the event synthesizer? So, this is a new feature for... Or from the mod. It's basically like a, a race creator from Gran Turismo 2. 
So it gives you a random track and similar AI, essentially. That's going to be part of the Spec 2 mod, whenever that comes out. However, for tonight, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. I don't know if I'll be streaming tomorrow, but we'll see. Uh, how long have we been going for today? Almost four and a half hours. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. So, if I have time tomorrow, I'll continue this tomorrow. If not, then probably at some point during the week. But, um, yeah, we've had a very good run today. We got a lot of useful cars. We got a good chunk of the relevant events knocked out. So, things are going pretty good here. We just need to get the important things, like we need a truck, we need a supercar, and we need something for the GT World Championship that can still get below... 100 or that could still get above 100 a spec points by the way so uh i think i'm gonna call it for tonight thank you everybody for coming to the stream this stream will be left public because i'm not gonna have any videos of this playthrough anytime soon anyways so uh, if you want to go back and catch up on it from before uh or just rewatch it then It'll be there. So, thank you guys for coming by, and I'll see you maybe tomorrow, maybe some point next week. Whenever I'm ready. Key thanks. Bye.